fellow Americans, while the extent of damage to our country is still uncertain, and shall probably remain so for some time, preliminary reports indicate that principal weapons impact points included military and industrial targets in most sectors of the United States. There is, at the present time, a ceasefire with the Soviet Union, which has sustained damage equally catastrophic. Many of you listening to me today have suffered personal injury, sudden separation from loved ones, and the tragic loss of your families. I share your grief, for I too have suffered personal loss. During this hour of sorrow, I wish to assure you that America has survived this terrible tribulation. There has been no surrender, no retreat from the principles of liberty and democracy for which the free world looks to us for leadership. We remain undaunted before all but almighty God. The government is functioning under certain extraordinary emergency options. We are prepared to make every effort to coordinate relief and recovery programs at the state and local levels. During the next two weeks, my staff and cabinet will attempt to relocate to National Emergency Reconstruction Headquarters. At the present time, and until radiation pattern reports are made available over the emergency broadcast band or through your local authorities, I urge you to remain in areas offering maximum shelter protection from radioactive fallout and to obey all local curfews. We are counting on you, on your strength, your patience, your will, and your courage to help rebuild this great nation of ours. God bless you all. That's it.